Hello, my name is Juan Kaplan. I'm a hardware engineer from Entrid, and today I want to present the automation script design of the G4. So let's start. First, we're going to go to the icon of the automation on the desktop and open it. Now we have to decide between a G4 design and a G4C design. I'm going to choose for today the G4C design and load a ready example. Uh, let's look at the properties. We've got the documentation pass where we save all the topology file, HDBTs, and HFS. Uh, we've got the schematic pass of the design and the schematic file name. I'm going to change the schematic pass to the local disk to allow the automation run faster. Uh, here are the title block properties. This is the text that will show on the title block. It's a sub-assembly number, design name, approval name, and schematic revision. Uh, for the PCB number and schematic number, this field will influence both on schematics and BOM, uh, but the descriptions will only show on the BOM. Uh, the topology fields are taken from the mechanical files of the DXF, and we put the antenna order from left to right. Uh, for example, battery pen left, vertical 66 to vertical 39, H0 to H39 and V0 to V38. And we can choose if the design will be a generic one or a custom one. A gener generic design means there are no antenna numbers on the design and it, it can support many, many sensors. Uh, if we've got an external atrix besides the G4C, then we can choose if whether they will be on the left side of the G4C or on the right side. Uh, we can choose the host interface. We've got standard options like the Fujitsu 14 pins, the Panasonic 15 pin, and the ACF 15 pin. Each option can work with certain type of communication option. The Fujitsu can work only with USB and SPI, but the Panasonic, for example, can work with serial link interface, whether it's SPI assembled or I2C assembled. We also can change the ACF pads of the antenna's physical size footprints. We can say if they will be on the top or on the bottom and give them length, width, pitch, and special characteristics for the GND pads and the ESD pads. So now we can start. First, we are going to generate the topology. I clicked the general topology button. The topology was generated. Let's go to the path we declared for the documentation to see if the topology went fine. We open the file. Here, here you can see the diagram which fits what we inserted in the GUI and the topology itself ordered. It's look fine. I'm going to close it and continue to the, to the design. Now I'm going to open the OCAD sys. I'm going to open the design pass we declared on the GUI. this design. A generic design has been opened for me. To start the automation, I'm going to randomly open one of the pages. Here I open the block diagram page. We are going to go to the accessories, automation scripts, entry automation scripts, and press the button. The automation has started. To allow faster running, I'm going to close the 
the program now. It can run a few minutes. Okay, the automation is finished. Let's look on, on what we got. The first page is the block diagram page. Here, here, and here we got the text that we put in the GUI. The PCBA number, designer, approver, and revision. Also the schematic part number. This is a block diagram for the generic design, which no, with no antenna number and a standard interface of USB and and we've got we've got the schematic spot numbers and the descriptions not displayed so everything looks fine now we've got the ACF pads here from right, right to left we've got ESD from both sides and the ground separation capacitors for connecting ground and all the ACF pads with the right footprints and now we've got the atrid pages one, one atrid here and the second is here with SIO and F clock signals. This is the G4C page. We got the F clock filter for the external atrix and the SIO lines are here. This is the ACF connections. The last page is for the host interface. We've got uh, we've got the Panasonic connectors that we chose and ESD diodes for all the digital signals and we've got the lattice uh, FPGA the assembled options according to the GUI is the I2C one so we can see that the I2C parts are assembled and the SPI lines are disconnected. All the title blocks look the same with only the page, count, page uh, counter is running. So that was, was the automation tutorial. Thank you for listening.